Welcome back to Elon After Hours. Joining us today is the creator of Smoke and S'mores, here to talk about his new business. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? And your name is Ethan? Ethan Kaufman. Ethan Kaufman. All right, man. So what year are you to begin with? So I'm a sophomore currently You're right now. You're a sophomore. And yes. just, give me, just give me, what is your business? So my business is basically a s'mores bar, and I was just sitting in class one day mm -hmm. thinking about Elon sometimes struggles with nightlife activities, especially between that 7 to 11 period. And I was thinking, what spaces are underutilized? What could I do to add stuff to the community? Mm -hmm. And then instantly the idea popped a, a dessert bar. And then what, bet, like, what more do college kids love than s'mores? So instantly the idea just came to me and I just kind of flew with it and now I'm here. So a s'mores bar, so obviously you got, you got the little fluffy marshmallows, right? Yes. So how, how, how would you set it up? Like, are you making it like an elegant, like, I don't know how to make a s'more, yeah. a s'more <laughs> elegant, like a, yeah. So when, everyone, so when anyone comes in, they'll okay. pay per person, they'll come in their group, and what awesome. they'll do is they'll sit down at a table, and what we'll do is we'll bring a personal s'mores tray and a personal s'mores fire Ooh. pit. And the lighter for you will be lit for 15 to 30 minutes, and you're just going to make as many up to five s'mores. What is a mini fire Kit, a place? So it's like a mini fire, like cast iron grill. So what oh. it is, it's like, I don't know if you've ever seen those poo poo platters with like the little compartments and they spin. I but have not. there's like a little um, cast iron grill that's usually used for hibachi, but they also oh. use them for, for s'mores. So like the little sterno gel that they have at events, you put that yeah. in the cast iron grill, light it, and it's this cool little blue flame that comes up, and then it's perfect, indoor safe, environmentally friendly. So it's perfect for something like indoor oh. oak house. Yeah, this all worked out. So, do you have a lot of people involved, or right now is it is it you kind of taking over? So currently, I'm the only one that's involved in the business, but I have some awesome. people that are volunteering mm -hmm. to help out, and then eventually going to be employees, where then they'll start making some money working for me. So you talked about um, Oak House. Is there any other events like on campus right now that you're trying to do or? trying to get involved in. So right now, SG actually just hired me to do an event tomorrow before the volleyball game. That's oh. at 7 p.m. outside Corey Gym. So at <laughs> Nice little drop in exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. I love that little drop. <laughs> but at 6 p.m., there's going to be free pizza, free s'more set up for the next hour before the game. So that's definitely going to be great, just having mm. the first opening event there. And then I'm hoping to also get some sororities involved, do sisterhood events, but also if Campus Rec ever wants something with s'mores or any other organization, I can definitely do some catering and food vendor type stuff as well. Oh, so, how many s'mores do you think you have eaten in a week since you started this business? It's very hard not to touch the inventory <laughs> that's like sitting in my room right now, I'll tell you that, but I've done a couple taste tests, mm -hmm. especially with the specialty s'mores with the Reese's, and I probably had five one week. Oh, so, so are, you are getting fancy with I these s'mores. I am smores. getting a little fancy. Yeah, we have four different flavors right now. So oh. we have the classic with just the milk chocolate Hershey mm, bar. Of course, of course. Then we have um, Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh then we have the cookies and cream Hershey bars. And we have peppermint patties. All right. Well, I'm going to be anywhere you guys are going to be <laughs> and enjoying that Reese's peanut butter cup s'more. I don't <laughs> know how I could. I was like, Reese's peanut butter cup s'more. OK, anyways. <laughs> so. What you, you've been talking about this perfect s'more. What what taste test did you get to make that that perfect s'more? To you, what is a perfect s'more? I guess I personally never love when the marshmallow gets too burnt, but okay, just yeah. enough where it's that fluffiness, but it starts mm -hmm. melting. And when you put it on the graham cracker, the chocolate starts to melt with mm. that marshmallow that's on fire. But just in case, if anyone ever wanted to toast their um, graham crackers and melt the chocolate, I, they have tongs per table. Mm -hmm. So what you do is after you get your s'more, you take the tongs, you pick up your s'more, and you hold it over the little fire, and you get to toast the graham cracker and melt the chocolate. So like, there's pretty much not a big mess involved either in this. Uh, not at all. Oh, so that's classy. I love that. So tell me about how you created your own business. I know you talked about like how you thought about it, but how did you actually get to the point of like, I'm doing this business, it is now starting, like you're already getting involved, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So my dad's in business too, so he was mm -hmm. a huge help with us all. I would call him constantly, maybe a couple times a day. My mom would pick up and be like, can you put dad on please? And mm -hmm. she'd like laugh. Um, but it was really interesting, he would give me advice, but he kind of led me in the direction where, okay, you need to contact this person for mm -hmm. insurance, go to PNC, open up a bank account, yep. start getting, um, go through 
um, Secretary of State to get the LLC agreement. So it was a long process, and mm -hmm. I've been jotting down things too because even just for any resume ideas, it's great to talk about. And honestly, oh, it's just yeah. a very cool story. But when I look back at it, everything's gone so quickly that I just don't want to forget about this whole experience. But again, my dad's still helping me with little mm -hmm. things here and there. But it's really cool to say, like, okay, I have my own business now, and I've done all this, and now I have so much information experience for of the future. Course. Especially, you're just a sophomore, you yeah. said, right? So yes. what what major are you? If are you entrepreneurship? Or? So originally I was marketing mm -hmm. major with uh, entrepreneurship minor. Okay. But yeah. I now changed that to a major, and then I'm gonna minor in communications now. Oh, cool. So oh, what what made you change to the communications minor? Just kind of like well, communicating obviously to exactly, but mm -hmm. also just more that public relations side, and yeah. just to have that more communications background. I love like the com design side mm -hmm. of it as well, and especially for photoshopping things, for even for the business itself, or Instagram posts and other Facebook pictures. Yeah. It's just great to have that background, especially. Do you have like a a little logo or anything that we you've do. worked on? So yeah. our main logo is the smoke and s'mores, but instead of the O, it's an acorn. <laughs> so I love kinda, that. Kind of adding to that whole oak and acorn theme that Elon has here. Mm. And then how do people get in contact you, with you? So people can get in contact with me on my Instagram and Facebook page, which is just Smoke and S'mores. And it's very easy to find. And awesome. again, we're ha already having a ton of followers, mm -hmm. which is great. And just liking the Facebook page is great. And you can e easily send a message to us and get in contact if you're interested in having an event. And then we can work finding a price and dates and get it going. And I'm awesome. hoping to eventually get some profit shares going as well. Definitely help out Elon organizations with philanthropy and mm -hmm. other organizations who just want some, need some money to start putting on cool. their own events. So Oak House on Saturday? Saturday night Saturday at 7 night. p.m. All right. If you guys liked what you saw, please subscribe below here. You can also follow us at Elon After Hours on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys for watching. Please tune in again.